when we look at the names of the people who have been appointed by the president, if we are saying that Gashagwa is tribal, then we see the person who is more tribal. Because Jina Koros ni awapi? Kalenje. Serem ni awapi? Korir ni awapi? Sasa hizo majina zizimejaa kwa ma PS more than a hundred. So, the biggest shareholders kwa hii serikali. Which is, which is true about the companies. Yes. <laughs> which is true because in this country from time immemorial, it has been shared on a shareholder basis. Because we have had more presidents who are from Mount Kenya. We have had government, uh, government uh, state corporations. Tumekuwa na central bank governors wangapi? So far to my part of and I can tell you 99% of them they are from central. Why? Because the president was from central. Why are we angry? King Wetangula is speaker because he negotiated for himself. Na hiyo maneno Kashagwa alimwambia akiwa wapi? Akasema Mr. Speaker you sit in that chair because you negotiated for your own stomach. <laughs> Amazon Kingi did the same. Yes. Sasa kashakwa kienda na aseme. <laughs> eh, aseme, our pre-election agreement ilikuwa munipatie 30%, 40% kama Mount Kenya. Yes. This number of state corporation heads, this number of parastato heads, akisema publicly, why do you find it very bad wewe kwa sababu wewe unaisema mkiwa kwa room? And I want to say this uh, on the on the on the on the sovereignty of the people. That the people, if we were so sovereign, the the, the, the way they might want us to believe, then they, there are some matters that should not have to fight to We should be the ones making a decision. For example, Finance Bill 2023, it had a lot of resistance from the people. The sovereign said, we do not want this. But what did the president say? Itakuja mupende, musipende. A president who won with a margin of 200,000 votes, claiming to speak on behalf of all Kenyans. In this case, he does not speak on my behalf because I voted elsewhere. So he should listen on my, uh, listen to what I have. Do I end up on Bele? I decide based on what the people have said. The people have said, Yakwamba, investing in this country is, is not bad. We need investors. But why are these investors coming shrouded in a lot of secrecy? Come on, Adani, in Missouri, Villa to Nambiwa. Then Adani should run everything. Adani is a reputable company. Sindio? Yes. Ikuje, tuipatia Iran police because we have a problem with how the police are handling things. Because Adani are so good at what they do. Sindio? Yes. We have a problem with health care. Tumewapatia. Uh, our Kenya power has been making losses. Tumewapatia. They are now managing uh, 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 infrastructures of Kenya power. We have, we have a lot of other ailing sectors that we think Kenyan people do not have the capacity to run. We should give it to Adani. So if the president, if Adani is running airport, infrastructure, Kenya power, it is running health, it uh, ends with the Kenya Ports Authority, then what is the president running? What is he really running? It, it, it means we are paying someone 1.5 1, 1. million for doing nothing. So, tunafaa hata tupatia huyo gautama adani aran Kenya. Ulisema, what other issue? I think you have exhausted the entire... Uh, 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 as I finish now, one, thing I just want to one statement. You, uh, you are misleading uh, the, the issue of PPP. Public-private partnership. Public, private partnership. Yes. 
I think it's, it's very much allowed, yeah. such that uh, our corporation and parastatal should also produce profit. And by producing more profits, people can be employed and they can also be able to pay their workers. So on that issue of PPP, I think we need to support it I am to some extent. Me. Yeah, you're, you're, you're free to get I some. come from a very moderate kind of society. Yes. Yeah. For the last five years, where I was working, mm -hmm. because I was called actually we kisses. We fought for Raira Moro, but then by then it was Uru Mwege Kenyatta. I was put out of payroll, I was emaciated, I was humiliated, I was intimidated. And from the world to go, I started coming here. I have not seen any impact. I have known many people around. And here you are saying actually, if we say it's public, it actually is a shareholding. Kenya is not a shareholding, it's a sovereign country for all of us. The small families, the large families, the large ethnic groups, the small ethnic groups. Yes. And at the same time, we need also a share. Don't call these criminals and the ones who are in prisons, That's who are in cells. Hey, That's, That's being, being awkward. <laughs> and when you come here, your owner, then you say, actually, we are not talking about Kachago and the or whatever. <laughs> then actually, we put the agenda yes. which we want to table here. I do come here until you have to, uh, me, I'm very poor in English, I'm poor in languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because of coming here, yeah. I don't like this ten kind of tenders that we are just doing. When I started coming here, this place was very different. Mm. I thought when you were talking about you are doing talk about us here, you start talking about Kashawa and share when he's talking about doing the bedrooms, yeah. you good good English. Mm. I don't like that kind of uh, behavior. Mm. And I can even run away. I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When I see that you are just standing here, yeah, yeah. this is not independence. We as the parliament, the senate of common one yeah. we should not be seeing the vehicle behind no, us. And us. when we are here, you come and come that which is supposed to be there. Yeah. These are my papers as a teacher of Kenya. Oh. Teacher Service Commission, yes. I stand to a teacher suffering corner for no apparent reason. However, can you bring her to the agenda of the day if there's no agenda? If there's nothing for me to do, I do it elsewhere. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're going for which seat? You're going for which seat? Are you going for a political seat? I, in case of anything, this time I would have been vindicated. Yeah, this is an agenda that I'm bringing, uh, that as Kenyans, everybody should prepare to have a dual citizenship, in, just in case something worse happens. Because as I see things the way they are running, Kenya could, be, could face the kind of inflation that has never happened. Because we are going to print money secretly in Germany, which will make the prices to shoot in this country. That's why the governor of the central bank has not tabled in parliament the, the due diligence reports and the transaction agreements between the Kenyan government and the German firm that has been tasked with the mandate of printing money. Sasa tutaenda hivi tufanye vile idi amina alifanya hapa Uganda na Zimbabwe ikuwe mokate ni elefukumi. Thank you very much for your immense contribution, senior member. May I now... Uh, Okay, Senior you so member, much. let's have a bit of order, let's have some order kindly and let us observe time. How many minutes do I have? Uh, you talk three minutes. Three minutes. Then you come. You know, it's when we were starting. In fact, people were not even here. We are trying to say people. are not even here. See, I'm the only one who has no people here. Regulate time from now. Remember? Yeah. So, 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 in that case, you took our way 20 minutes. No, 3 minutes. Because you have brought them. Ah, you know, by that time, people want to talk. They want to direct. Three minutes, kind of easy, sir. I'm not here consuming, sir. I'm not here. 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 I
We are not discussing all that. What we are Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I, I think I think the member will get his chance. Yeah, he should get his chance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, members, uh, Mr. Speaker. The matters that we are discussing here are heavy. And because they are also on record in the bicameral parliament of the Republic of Kenya. So it is important we also give our inputs into what is happening in this country. Mr. Speaker, I want... I want to start I want to start with Adani. Mr. Speaker, there has been so many hard transits and innuendos and conspiracy theories about the Adani deal. Mr. Speaker, let us this house not forget that there is a there is an existing facility that is called the Nairobi Expressway. The Nairobi Expressway is a 21 kilometer infrastructure that was signed in 2020 during COVID. Now it's on a franchise period of 30 years. It was constructed using PPP. That is a concept that has been here. It has not started with Adani. Yes. Mr. Speaker, as we speak, we have only paid three years. Kwaivo, the Nairobi Expressway has some 27 years to be paid. That is a fact, and that is something that happened in the recent history. Mr. Speaker, the same concept that Adani is bringing on board to expand our airport. Whether it's a priority, even when Expressway was coming, we were questioning Uhuru, Mr. Speaker. We were asking him, how does this help the common man? Yes. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, protect me, Mr. Speaker. Let the member finish his three minutes. No, no, no. Let us not consume his three minutes. How do you protect him from information? No, I can tell you. He's in informed. So you don't want him to be informed. No, 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 you are informed. Honorable Speaker, yesterday I was gagged. The way the honorable member is trying to articulate issues as I'm being gunned, it took me to protect myself. Protect the member. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Thank you. Proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What? What? Mr. Speaker. Let's just go on. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Mr. Speaker, thank you. I think, you can also help me. I think, I think, Mr. Speaker, I think, Mr. Speaker, I have talked what is fact. Because it is true, Mr. Speaker, that in 2020, the Nairobi Expressway was signed by the China Road and Bridge Company. And it has a franchise period of 30 years. That is a fact. Mr. Speaker, what is there to be informed about that statement? I am going forward, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, we were not told how much money the China Road and Bridge Company was going to pay 
or was going to charge us in 30 years. The fact that today we are speaking about Adani, it also means that people have been secretly signing these things, but without public knowledge. Mr. Speaker, that Barabara took a question Ikienda Ilisha. But today, Mr. Speaker, people are enjoying people who go to airport yes. and they want to go to Red Hill. Uh, 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 Red Hill. <coughs> Interchange. They only take 15 minutes, Mr. Speaker. And today, people are enjoying. Mr. Speaker, as we speak, if you go to pay up kwa Nairobi Expressway, iyo pesa ni China and yo wana kusanya. Mpaka wajilipe. Wanaenda nayo, Mr. Speaker. Nothing is coming to Kenya. But we are using it, Mr. Speaker. Now, the Adani deal, they are saying that they want to expand the airport and modernize it. And they, once they do that, Mr. Speaker, they are going to take another like 30 years to recover their own money and they are going to give you the, your, your JKIA, Mr. Speaker. My second point, Mr. Speaker, I want to delve into, into the issue of the impeachment motion at Parliament, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I know the Deputy President has supporters here. Yes. And so many of them, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Mr. Speaker, give me time. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, the fact that the Deputy President has supporters doesn't mean that the supporters are the Deputy President, Mr. Speaker. This is the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, the supporters of Deputy, uh, De Deputy President did not take oath of office on his behalf. Yeah, but he, he yeah, took on, our on your behalf, yes. Mr. Speaker. That is the way things should be made distinct. Mr. Speaker, on his other of office, Mr. Speaker, at Kasarani, Mr. Speaker, the Deputy President swore yeah, yeah, yeah. I witnessed. to serve all Kenyans without fear or favor. He swore, Mr. Speaker, and the the judicial, the Zadi Madam Algona Mambia Arudie, the registrar of the Supreme Court, of the, Supreme Court, the judiciary. Of the judiciary. judiciary yeah. Anamambia Arudia hii oath fizuri. Because, kwa nini alikuwa nambua Rudia? Because he was swearing before God and Kenyans that he will serve all Kenyans without fear or favor. Number two, Mr. Speaker, he took another oath, Mr. Speaker, oath of allegiance, Mr. Speaker, to the Republic of Kenya and to the President, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, under Schedule 4, Mr. Speaker, it is clear that the Deputy President shall be the principal assistant to the President. It therefore means that Mr. Speaker, the Deputy President does not have any functions except, except what is delegated to him by the President. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, up to there, we all know that the boss, the first boss, I'm, I'm finishing, Mr. Speaker. I'm finishing, Mr. Speaker. I'm finishing. You interrupted me. I'm only finishing. Mr. Speaker, give me 30 seconds, I finish. Order, order. Can we now give the member? Yes, one minute. Can we give the member one minute? Count with me. 60 seconds. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, for the Deputy President to go on record by his own admission that the President asked him or delegated 
to him a duty so to superintend the removal of people that were 30 meters into Nairobi River. And he declined, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, that means that if that is sub in subordinating his boss and is going against an oath he took before us at Kasarani. That is in own admission that he said, Mr. Speaker, that he said, Mr. Speaker, mimi nilikubali, nilisema tukikuwa kwa campaign, kwamba, sita kubali wa Kenya wafurushwe, kiolela. Mr. Speaker, 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 we must listen, we must listen to opinions that do not. Mr. Speaker, we must agree to opinions that we do not. Yes, yes. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, some of the members heckling here, if you give them three minutes to speak, they will not speak, even for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am saying this. Mr. Speaker, for the Deputy President, by his own admission, to say that he declined an order by the President to remove people because of Madhara, kwa sababu walikuwa kwa barabara, kwa, 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 kwa muto, riparian land. And they were endangering their own lives, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, that is in subordination of the highest order. By his own admission, admission, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to finish by saying this. I want to, I want to, to finish by saying this. If yeah, you are in order, Mr. Speaker, uh, member, member for Karachuonyo. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I want to finish by saying this. In a court where the presiding judge is an hyena. Do you expect the goat to get That's justice? It. No, 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 no. Mr. Okay. Speaker, the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya said by his own admission yes. that Moses Wetangula, Amazon Kinki, and the president ni watu wabaya wali negotiatia their own seats. Mr. Speaker, and he knew he was going to face them. Mr. Speaker, hiyo ilikuwa kama kujieka kamba kwa shingo. Mr. Speaker, when you are faced with such a thing, you do not attack the people that are going to be hearing you. Mr. Speaker, Deputy President is his own enemy by his own admission. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Senator. A round of applause. A round of applause for him. So, members. Time, in the interest of time, to go to Jarib, to brief, to what we're going to attack on Gaya. To a brief, Kidogo. Nazema, 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 Kunawale, Kunawale, and Bae, Wakingia, my time in Angaliwa. The members from another side and they want to gag us.
No, I think nobody wants a, to gag anybody. You, 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 you want to believe this house and that we are not going to allow. Mr. Speaker, I know you support the impeachment. That we are not going to allow. We will draw you. We will draw you. Give me three or one second. You are satisfied. Two minutes. We are even wasting time. We are even wasting time. Okay, okay. Mimi, bana, bana, ni batia time basi ni onge. Tuwe na oda. We know the political side you are subscribing to, but now you want to beg us. Skiza, bana, 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 speaker, bana, speaker, wezi kuwa rivali, wezi rivali na wezi player. Skiza, skiza, wezi kuwa puli, wezi rivali na player. Wezi kuwa. Mimi <laughs> Na mimi huwa siongei kwa, kwa sababu nipendekeze mtu ama nivuraise mtu. Itakuwa ni juu yako heza uvuraie ama uchukie. Isabon you. Kwa sababu ukweli ni mungu na mungu ni ukweli. Waja tuweke mambo maanani. Sielewi. Nikuwa na expect abu awali kwamba kusoma kizungu ndiyo kuerevuka. Lakini magua kurealize. Watu wale ambayo huwa ni wajinga sana ni wale uongea kizungu. <laughs> Mimi nasema hivi wewe wewe ukifikiria kama 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 common mwananchi wewe ndio patie company ama patie mtu binafsi kwa sababu yuko na pesa adani family yako aenda achukue gate aweke vile anataka bibi yako alale vile anataka watoto wako akae vile anataka wewe kwa kweli una akili hata kama unajua kizungu Kama huu zi ujinga, utahita ujinga ni gani? Mamba, can you kindly use parliamentary one so that our house can be... Okay, yes. Umekuja, umekuja kwa pundi ya mana. Yeah, can you... Ume, ame... Aya, basi. Kiza. Waja ni kuambie. Ambie kwanza hawa na bayuka nyuma yangu. Kiza, ambie hawa na bayuka nyuma yangu wa nyamaze, ufunge kinyo. Skiza. Wambia wa mabuwea, wa nyamazi ni kwa hama mbaka mbaka taka kumina moja. Most are affected by what you are saying. So I think they are a culprit. Eh, eh. Mimi, mimi, mimi nataka kuambia, inikuri our speaker. Kwamba, duniani hakuna mtu wako nevimea ya wa. Ni mungu tu. Kwa hivyo za, niluhusu, niluhusu. Ni malize mambo yangu. La zivyo tadili na nyi kulingaa vila mbae livyo. Siyali. Aya. Aya. Tende. Tende. Can you respect the house? Ok. Ok. Ni mezim. Ni mezim. Ni mezim. Ni mezim. Aya. 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 Ok. Wa. 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 Aya. 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 Kani kwamba adani ni kinyume ni kinyume tukiwa tumewapatia hapo tuwatengeneze kwa sababu kama yuko na uwezo kama yuko na uwezo wangestahili kuchukua airport wataweza mpya kwa sababu hiyo pesa ambayo wanaitumia kurekebisha hiyo adani nini airport embakasi kwamba inatosha hata kutengeneza airport nyingine sasa kwa hivyo kwa, kwa pande yangu kama mimi ingesikia ushauri wangu kama mwananchi wa hii Kenya na sinia member wa ndunia hii ya Kenya tungekubaliana kwamba andani wangestahili kutegeza nini airport ingini swali yangu ni moja nje wakati hili ambayo tunaye peana airport ambayo ni gate ya inji yetu ya Kenya ya kuingia na kutoka Kenya kweli 
tuna akili vizuri hapo ndio swali yangu kwa sababu sioni sababu ambayo anaweza kufika hiyo kiwango Kenya tuyavika kiwango ya maskini ya kuuza airport kwa miaka ya 30 years kama vile ambayo anachukua nyumba ya mtu unakomboa shamba ya mtu for 30 years inakuwa hiyo shamba ni yake ni yako kwa hiyo muda kwa hivyo according to me ikiwa ndani watapewa mpaka airport na style basi wapewa mpaka atakuwa president kwa sababu hao wamerun kila kitu number 2 nataka kuzungumzia kuhusu kuhusu eh, inaitwa ketrako ketrako stima zote za Kenya itakuwa chini ya bwana anaitwa ndani ambaye ndiye amepewa ketrako according to me ninaona kwamba ni kinyume cha utaratibu wa Kenya kwa sababu ikiwa kama si wenyewe tuwezi kurani mpaka stima zile za, za nyumba zetu surely na inji yetu ambayo tunasema kwamba tuko mbele katika inji zote za East Africa ukweli kama hiyo si kuonyesha nini uji wetu kwamba sisi tumekuwa maskini kiwango kwamba stima tunatoa nje tunasaidiwa na muindi haya hapo tunatekezwa na muindi bila kuweza kujiweza na huko si wenyewe tunajidai kwamba tuko mbele hii ni aibu ambaye je unakana dunia hii ya Kenya tangu ianze wacha nikuje mambo ya kashagwa mambo ya kashagwa according to me mumaele wengi wao wanasema kwamba nganga ni mvuazi wa wakashagwa of which mnazao kwamba mimi ni mvuazi wa Raila for more than 20 years but hii mambo ambayo anafanywa kashagwa according to me naona ukiwa ujinga wa almost 99.9% tukakuwa kama sini wa jinga according to my understanding why nasema hivi in 1965 jamogyo ginga odinga alipropose in parliament kwamba kuwa na, na dictation without trial 1966 alikuwa wa kwanza kwa arrested katika compound yake kwa hivyo akavanywa hiyo dictation without trial na ikakuwa ikakuwa ikaingiana 1982 mheshimiwa Kibaki akapropose Kenya iwe one party state mwishowe alikuwa mmoja kwa watu wale ambao alikuwa anapigania kuwa na multi party state sasa inakuwa kwamba tumesoma kulika, kwa, 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 kulingana na vile ambavyo tumefanywa na hapo wale wazee walikuwa hapo wale. Ningependa kuuliza wa Kenya. Especially you young men. Especially you young men. Sisi sasa hii tunasonga, tumepiga mimi nakumbuka vizuri, tumechukua muda mrefu sana kupigana ndio tuweze kuwa na moti party. Watu wakakufa wengi by that time tukua young men like you. Alafu sasa sasa hii wakati ambaye imeingia Tumengangana tena kuwa na katiba ile katiba ambayo Langasta ambayo ilikuwa na uzuri yake ikiwa imeharibiwa na watu hao ambayo wanakaa parliament na wanaendelea kutengemea tumbo zao wanafanya mambo on behalf of us kumbe watukidhania wanafanya mambo on behalf of us kumbe wanafanya on behalf of them au wenyewe ndio wanategemea tumbo yao si kwamba watu wengi wanatumia akili kwa hivyo ndivyo nilikuwa nasema you as Kenyans angalia na macho mawili ukuwa na sober mind toa Kalonzo kwa akili yako, toa Raila kwa akili yako, toa Ruto kwa akili yako. Alafu angalie deputy president. Ukiwa uone kama kashagwa, ukiona kama hiyo deputy president ni is, is a man like you, is a Kenya like you na akivanyiwe hivyo, next itakuwa ni nani? Singependa, singependa kuona kitu ikivanyika namna hiyo. Kwa 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 wakati ambao tunayefanya. Kwa sababu kitu ya kwanza, saa hii nambari kubwa mpaka unasikia mtu anasimama hapo hivyo anakwambia niko ndani ya government. Na huyu mtu anakuambia kwa ndani ya government hata kujiweza kujipeleka kwake ni ngumu. Unashindwa huyu gani anafanya kwa government yaji. Sasa kwa hivyo tafadhali ndugu zangu ni vijana. Especially you young men. Nimesema especially you young men. Ni vibaya sana kama matezo ambayo mliofanya tuliopata tukingangana mpaka turudishe moi aelewe. Aelewe vile ambavyo tuliumia. Na hiyo hiyo tu ndio ninaona mnajaribu kufanya ole wenu kwa sababu inaanza kuwa vibaya. Kujiposa na jaribu kuwaelezea kama kama rafiki yenu wa karibu. Tafadhali, muwe careful sasa ile ambayo unafanya mambo. Kutoka kasegwe si shida. Utamtoa na ataenda. Na si kwamba atakufa, na si kwamba atakuwa maskini. Lakini ile kitu ambayo iliyoko ni kuwa kama mbapatia mwanamume mmoja nguvu na uwezo wa kutoa mtu akitumia manyang'au ambayo wajielewi. Na wewe kabisa unaona kama hao ni watu ambao wajielewi. Ukiona ukiona watu wale ambaye wanae wanae vanya mambo watu wale ambao wanae 
Mimi Wa Ai 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 Kwa sababu kitu ya kwanza ina unajua anavana. Mbona uambiwa ni mazi? Sikiza hutaki wanyamazi lakini wanataka mimi nyamazi. Na malizia. Wazazi waambia wanyamazi mimi nimalizie. Wewe kwenda ulala wewe. Sasa baada hayo baada hayo baada hayo Sikiza Dugu Dugu Oda Nyanyi ni nyanyi hata ukipeleka Mount Kenya ni nyanyi hata ukitoweka Mount Elgon ni nyanyi simbo mimi nasema hivi amini usiamini hii mambo ambayo mnayojaribu kufanya mkijidanganya kwa maungu ndani ya government you are the one who will suffer na nawahakishia ukweli na and wait and see na kuhakishia ukweli last year but one nilikuwa hapa kwa hiki kao nikawaambia mnapo mnapochagua UDA na hii Kenya Kenya kwanza after three months mtakuwa mmelia mpaka mmeisha machezi kwa akili. Sasa hii ukweli mmeona ile kitu ambayo niliwaambia. Sasa hii mnasema kwamba ati mnangana na kashagwa. Kesho ni wewe amini usiamini. Mungu awalinde na wabe kima muelewa asandeni. Asa youth kindly take 2 minutes. Asa youth I know wewe unaelewa sana. Please. 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 Nataka nataka kwanza kusema hivi two wrongs don't make right. Juu hapa kuna member ametoka amesema expressway ilipeanwa 30 years. The same same way we should give a done 30 years. So mimi naona even if labda kuna makosa ilifanyika kama kuna makosa ilifanyika wakati wa expressway hatufai kurudia yale yale makosa kwa ada, kwa JKIA. Unajua the problem with JKIA is corruption. It is not even the management, the problem is corruption. So if these people are very genuine to us, if the, if the government is very genuine to the people of Kenya, iku, yende isot corruption, corruption enye ina happeningi pale JKA, yende imaliza, yende imaliza ukorayote, then wakuje. Watuambia tumemaliza corruption, now we are thinking to patia adani. Then what are, what, are the, what are the terms of this deal? He deal yenye tunambia ya adani ilifanyikia wapi. Last time niliona wakati, wakati, wakati wa impeachment, mambo ambayo hara ya nihusu in any way, tukapelekewa pale bombers. Lakini mambo ya adani, yenye inahusu mwanainchi wa kawaida, yenye imehusu mpaka watu walikuwa nafanya kazi na KAA, wamefuto kazi wengine wao. We, yenye inatuhusu sisi directly, hatujapewa public participation. Which kind, unataka kuniambia, kuna, kuna malengo mzuli, ambayo adani wamekuja pale, watafanya. And if there is anybody in this country, who believe that JKA after 30 years it will be a multi international airport? I want to confirm to you that you are lost. Now, Mimi, I am here to, to the old guys. Old guys, please. Tafadhali, wacheni kutupotosha. Sisi kama vijana. Iyo 30 years, Mimi, najua nitakuwa na nitakuwa mze. Kama nitafikisha. 
Sasa sisi ndio tutakuwa wazee ile wakati kama nitafikisha hiyo miaka. We, ule mtu mwenye yako, ule mtu mwenye yako 60 kuipata hiyo kumaliza hiyo 30 years ni bahati. Sio wengi watafikisha hapo. So it's, it's the highest time nyinyi kama wa Kenya. It's the highest time you as the old guys mwanze kutupeleka kwa jia ambayo inayofaa. Mwanze kutueleza ukweli wa mambo na wa mambo wa mambo na, na pale na pale tunapoelekea. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker nikimalizia na mambo ya gashagua. Nimesikia kila mtu hapa akisema gashagua. Nikikuja kwa mambo ya gashagua nikimalizia na, ma, na malizia na mambo ya gashagua. Nikimalizia na mambo ya gashagua. Ya ile yale yale mambo ambayo tu, kuna mtu amesema hapa. Gashagua is very much tribal mpaka anazuia watu wengine wasipelekewe de, wasipelekewe development zinaenda hapa Murima. Na mimi nataka kuuliza hawa hawa wananchi wote Gashagua ni yeye anagawa resources za inchi. Gashagua yeye ndiye anapeananga NCG NGCDF. Gashagua ndiye anapeananga pesa ya county government. Gashagua ndiye anaokota yeye ndiye KRA anaokota tax then anapeana pesa equally to this republic. Gashagua as you call him as a chief. Gashagua. Gashagua ile maendeleo imekosa kufanyika kwenu. Kama kwenu kuna shule ya, ma, ya nyasi kama kwenu kuna shule ya matope wewe jua sio gashagua jua ni yule mp wako kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo constituency jua ni kiongozi wako mwenye mkono yeye lakini msiyekelea blame game kwa mtu mmoja na, the, na in case of kukosa development kwa inchi don't put the blame game to to regard the gashagua asante ni thank you very much thank you very much mwangi can we be short yes yeah, i need short on the punchline sawa asante sana lazima nitume salamu kidogo Kwa mweshimiwa timu wa nyoni ni kami ngava na Nairobi. Iyo salamu lazima nitume. Mimi I'll be very short. Like uh, venye kuku ya ndume na kalianga kwa jika haraka haraka kama mawaliza maneno. Mimi ngependa kusema hivi. Mambo ya nye natusumbua Kenya ni mambo ya loan. Loan imetuvuruga, IMF iko huku, nini na nini, World Bank. Tuko left, right and center, tunahangi katikati, tuko na shida mingi sana. Na President William Samuel Ruto amekaa chini akasema apana. Lazima agenda za serikali ziendesho na lazima tutengeneze kasi. Akaona mambo ya kwenda kukopa pesa imeleta isu, finance bill imeleta isu, what shall we do? Ile kitu tutafanya, tunaita muwekezaji, tunamukodisha, tengeneza, alafu ujilipe, uende. Badeo tuachie nini, hiyo muradi hapo. Hiyo ndiyo plani ambao serikali. Na hizo ni vitu zimetendeka. One wakati tulidikisikava nini oil pale turukana. Situlo likuja kachimba. Ikatupatia condition number one. Lazime itachimba, ikichimba oil. Ijirudisie asset nini. Pesa za nyuame kamo ndani, za nyuame spend ndani. What we call their capital. Ikoma kimaliza kutoa ndani. Ndi watu watafanya nini? Waache mafuta tuweze kusasa sisi kunofaika nao. Hizo ni vitu zimefanyika pale turukana. The same same ni vitu ambazo zinaendelea kwa mining. Mwekesaja anakuja hapa, anagundua kuna iron ore. Pali. Ama kuna nini, eh, nini, eh, nini kama nini gemstone pali. Wanakuja wana mine, alafu ile kapitoli yao nyuameeka ndani, wanajirudishia, ndi wanatuachia. Kama sa hii iron ore inaendelea. Kama sa hii iron ore, Inaendelea kule te, e, taveta Wanachimbo akienda nao Lakini because hatuna uwezo Na tuwezi chukua loan Tuwalu makubali Wakapitolezi hapo watue yao Wamalizo watuachie ni future Watatuachie na watu watu watafanya nini Watafaidika Because mambo ya loan inatugag So kwa hivyo as I conclude Mimi mambo ya gachago siwezi kuiguza sana Because nikiiguza sana nitaputua pointi kubwa kubwa na itakuwa mnyambo kwa raya wenzangu hapa. So kwa hivyo, mimi ningependa kuachia hapo leo, lakini lazima nitaguza kwa mambo ya security ya bunge la mwanainchi. Bunge la mwanainchi hapa tunakuza kwa agyu na mudomo. Ukinishinda point, we pia kuja piga point. Venye ninatoka mwingina na ingia. Mambo ya kubebeana hapa visu, tuachane na ayo tafadhali. Mambo ya security hapa tuachane na ayo. Ya kubebeana watu visu hapa wachane nayo. Na mimi isa mimi isa nataka kutoa warning. Mukitaka munuua hapa na mukinuua nataka kuwe gisampa ya kuwawa hapa, ni kuwa mwisha ya bunga la mwanainchi Kenya Muzima. Thank you very much. Thank you very much isa. Can we be precise on time? Watu wako watatu walafu. Bunge power. Two minutes. Wanainchi power. Bunge power. Mzilale bana. Kwa majina naitua James Mulamba. 
Ni kuna five issues to address nda jaribu kutumia two minutes. Issue ya kwanza, Sergeant Atams jana hakuwa. Na Sergeant Atams anafaa pewe deputies kama watano. Kitu imekuwa ikiape na hapa kwa bunge ifai kwa hape ntena. Mutu mmoja anaanza kuweko lapo, watu wengine wata articulate points zao. Mungine anaanza isa idingine watu wata, wata, wata ongea kwa hii bunge. Kama babo wino walitolewa parliament. Na anatolewagwa. Na maimpi wanatolewagwa. Kwa hii bunge watu wazi, mbona wazitolewa kipigia wengine kelele. Iyo ni maneno ambayo hapa atufai kukubali. Pea mutu utaye maonge. Ikuwa kwa kwa serikali ama yuko kwa serikali. Aya, second point. Oath of office ya gashagua. Hizi oath of office za Kenya zinakuwaga mchezo. Hata hizo oath of office, hiyo oath of office ruto alichukua ni ya uongo. Hizo oath of office majajes wanachukua Kenya ni za uongo. They know they are lying to your faces but they don't care. Wanasema hivi lakini wanamaanisha vile. Gashagua is not the first man to violate the oath of office in this country. The third point. Tumeona bunge as the investigation prosecuting powers better than ESCC, better than the office of the DPP na DCI. Si mwona vile wamepeleka kesi ya gashagwa vizuri. Waja tuseme ni vizuri lakini si mwona vile marakishwa. If our parliament can have the prosecuting powers nye tunawana na investigative. Sa hii washa asema gashagwa ni muizi they are saying it conclusively. Si tuwape basi wa investigate kesi zote za Kenya. Watuambie kama ruto ni muizi ama si muizi. Watu ambie kama wao wenyewe pia kama MMP ni wezi ama si wezi ama namna gani? Yeah. See they are prosecuting and investigating him. Ni kuna point mbili za kumalizia one minute. Point moja ni Adani. China Road and Bridge ilifanya hii expressway. Si mnaiona? Yes. China Road and Bridge haikukuwa na skandole yote before ipewe hii eh, expressway. Kwa kampuni zote zenye niliwata niliwatajia niliwata jana more than five. Hakuna yenye kona scandal, zimefanya airports before, zingine zimefanya ports, zingine zimefanya pipelines na steamer. Kwa hizo zote walikosa wakaendea ile hawezi. Adani is a company that has money laundering, security forgeries and so many cases in international law. Kwa nini kwa hizo kampuni zote walitafuta tu wezi wenzao ama ni mwezi kujua mwenzake? Hiyo maneno hatuwezi kubali. Ya mwisho, ya mwisho ni Agashagua. Huyu Gashagua sio shida ya Kenya. Ni sawa ni mkabila. Ni sawa alisukuma mambo ya share holding. Lakini mambo ya share holding si ilianzishwa na Ruto. Si yeye ndio alianzisha mkataba wa Kenya kwanza. He called Moses Wetangula, Musali ya Mudavadi, Amazon King na Gashagua mwenyewe na yeye mwenyewe to sign that agreement kwamba nyinyi ni shares kwa hii serikali na tutawapea maendeleo kulingana na vile shares mmepeana. Si mnajua hii constituency ya Kikuyu ya Kimani Ishungwa, nikimaliza speaker. Hii constituency ya Kimani Ishungwa imepewa 1 billion ya roads. Enda huko Garissa, Northeastern na huko Kitui mahali wanahitaji barabara hakuna, wanapewa budget ya 100 million. Lakini hapa Kikuyu wanapewa 1 billion ya roads. Aje sasa Hii serikali ya shares haijaanzishwa na Gashagua. Tukisema ukweli tuseme penye huko. Huyo Ruto na huyo Gashagua ni the same. Kama ni kuenda waende wote. Thank you very much. Tafadhali kidogo. Asante sana. Mimi kwa ufupi nataka tuwe watu ambao tuko na general knowledge. Unao tutafautisha kati ya political formations na serikali ya president na deputy ambao waliapishwa kulinda katiba ya Kenya. Hii mambo ya, ya, ya gashagwa is just a simple process ambayo ni utaratibu ya katiba ambayo wabungo wamefuata na that's why they are trying to pump sense in your head ya kwamba you cannot challenge a, an impeachment process that is ongoing after the senate is when gashagwa can go to court na haeleze ya kwamba waangalie process yota impeachment kama ilienda sawa. It's as simple as that. Hii ingina yote ni propaganda ya korogocho, shaurumoyo kwa nyumba za tumbako. It does not make any sense. Mambo ya Adani. Mambo ya Adani. Sisi wanyewe tumuona waziri kipchumba muruko meni wa transport. Akienda airport kuangalia leakages kwa airport. That is very serious. Inchi ambayo hiko na serikali ambayo ina, 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 hiko na airport, serikali kubwa, waziri wa transport anaenda kwa airport kuangalia leakage ambayo hiko kwa airport. Wea muoni hiyo ni kitu ambayo siyo aniusho. And very serious again another issue ati kuna blackout airport. Na blackout ambayo inafanyika wakati tuko na serious flight ambayo inatoka inje na watu wanatoka hapa wanaenda inje. Na mkumbuke ya kwamba Nairobi ni headquarter ya United Nation. Kwa hivyo mambo na airport mambo sensitive. Number two, kwani mukisema adani wanakuja kupora Kenya. Kwani ya adani wanatoka na waindi polisi kutoka India. Security personnel ni wetu. Intelligence ni wetu. 
which they are going to take charge of the country. Mbona sasa kama 80% ya airport management yake ni pua, 80% ya operations iko corrupt eh, kwa sababu ya mambo mbaya mbaya kama hii yenye inakuwa champion na, na gashagwa. What do you expect the government to do? So sometimes tuwe watu ambao tuko na general knowledge na tufanya research, tusome katiba yetu, tusi champion tu mambo ile ambayo hatujui. Kwa ufupi hiyo mengine tutaongea kesho hii propaganda ya korogocho msileta kwa bunge ya kenya. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, th thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for giving me this opportunity to contribute this motion very quickly in one or two minutes because time we may Mimi nata kusema na ni meskia ndugu yangu hapa mmoja meongea meenda na ito kimanzi. My friend, my friend, if, even if you use how much English to sanitize a dani, Hata utumie kiingereza kizuri. Hata hata tujaribu kutukonvince kwa kijaluo ama kwa kiluya ama kwa kikukuyu. You will not sanitize a dani, a wanted criminal in Australia. A wanted criminal in Gujarat. A wanted criminal in in India. A wanted criminal in Bangladesh. Hauta succeed hata utumie lugha mzuri na mna gani. You will not succeed. A dani is a criminal a fraudster all on all over the world leo bunge ya india imekaa imeteua kamati ya kuchunguza huyu adani alichukuaje government installations zikawa zake za india za india watu bangladesh waliandamana kwa sababu gani kwa sababu ya adani watu gujarati gujarati stima adani alipewa mambo ya stima gujarati stima ikapanda by 102% 102% 102% fanyeni research na mtu anatuambia ati ana compare hii expressway na JKA expressway ni kitu imejengwa kwa hewa tuiwapatia hewa tukawaambia jengeni huko juu kwa hewa hawakukata miti hawakukata hawakuharibu barabara si Mombasa road bado iko chini na tukawapatia hewa basi JK kama hao walikuwa nataka kujenga kiwanja si tungewapatia hewa mahali tuambie uambie jengeni hapo juu kwa hewa ama tuwapatie kiwanja mahali kwa nini tuwapatie JKA kwa nini JKA mambo impeachment ya gashagwa nimesikia ndugu yangu hapa kimanzi akisema at in subordination is you whatever using very nice english but in subordination kama ruta alifanya ni subordination kama gashagwa alifanya ni subordination mambo ya kutoa watu kwa mito kuwabomolea ati akakataa na, ru, na ruto si alikataa mambo ya BBI ambayo ilikuwa ni muradi ya serikali mbona ya kuwa impeached hii impeachment ni uongo upuzi mtupu mi najua gashagwa ataenda but ni upuzi mtupu very useless thank you in the interest of time members allow me to adjourn we will start to start tomorrow allow me to adjourn in the interest of time Sasa sinaenda piga press pale kidogo. Piga press pale kidogo. Kuna hicho topic sinaenda ongea ndani impeachment. Sawa. Okay sasa. Tashukuru. Uweze pigania hapa. Uweze pigania hapa. Don't do it. Vitu mbona speaker. Mali mnataka tapiga sana. Sasa hapa tu. Bana sasa hapa hapa. Hapa kuna mradi. Ama tutapiga hapa. Acha tutoke hapa juu hawa sio wanasema. Hawa sio wanani. Yes tu. Okay sasa. Akuje, akuje, watu songe hivi Hivi Like this I proceed Well, I proceed Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, thank you, the fourth estate and uh, Bunge La Monainchi at large national headquarters. I want to take this opportunity to iron out on some very few issues, and especially this issue of uh, sovereignty, powers of the people of Kenya. I want to support 100% uh, to Manyata, Member of Parliament, Honorable Mwaniki John Mukunji uh, Gitonga, for his uh, uh, push to ensure that Wanainchi are given enough power to be incorporated in the impeachment of their leaders because you find these powers which have been given to MP some of them are not popular on ground some of them won with a very uh, slim ma 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 margin a very slim margin and they cannot be given enough more powers to impeach 
president to impeach deputy president to impeach governor deputy governor senator a member of parliament women representative and also mcs so powers should also be given to the people the electorate within the a given jurisdiction and for that support i support that bill and i support the member of parliament to push it also in parliament and ensure that when it comes to impeachment in future the people of kenya can be incorporated for instance if a member of parliament has even misappropriated his constituency development fund the people can collect signatures and file the petition iebc incorporated the high court incorporated so that the people's power at the ballot is reflected also in the management of county affairs that's all i wanted to share with the people maybe you have a question i'm not sure okay so so oh yeah oh yeah no i want to just to take a photo nothing else a photo oh so so then talk okay okay just a photo okay. just a photo okay, okay, okay. so who can say, take a photo for me you want to take a photo just a photo you just want a photo a photo you just want a photo a photo oh my phone <laughs> you okay you ready uh good evening everyone uh, i'm lawrence kiprono a uh, student leader and a uh, chairperson a uh, paringo students association and i want to talk to our county governor uh one night benjamin chepoi uh, you have failed us so much as youth of paringo county uh, comrades from there are claiming they are crying uh, you have let them down so much we chose you as our governor and you have failed the people of paringo terribly uh, you you are always out of office uh, the, uh, the, uh, there is there is nothing going on there in we way in this l that in your county there are schools which don't exist where so we are questioning you pona governor and what we are saying is this as we as we all we are seeing this this an impeachment season we saw a a governor from Kericho being impeached. I want to tell all MCS from Paringo County to table an impeachment, if possible tomorrow, to this fellow governor, to, to this fellow. The guy is failing us so much. If possible, an impeachment motion be brought to table tomorrow in the county assembly, the guy be sent home. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you Kavisa ni vile tumeanza late. Tumeanza late. Ingia nani? Tetelete. Mimi nimemaliza. Nimemaliza. Chunga 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 mic hapo. Sorry 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 I'm very sorry. Wewe ndio unataka kuongea. Eh. Okay. Ni gagi tu kue karibu ama unataka tu kue hivyo. Ni sawa tu tunaweza kuwa tuna aina shida. Unaweza kuja hapa. Unagonga serikali. Sasa kwani wewe uko saidia serikali? Kuja usimame hapa bana. Kama kuna kitu kama kuna kitu tunaogopa wewe hey. usikuje hey. hapa. Eh. Hey. Sawa tusonge hapo kidogo. Kwa sawa? All right guys welcome to this online media and maybe so far so good. Kumekuwa na motion mingi sana about the impeachment of our deputy Gashagwa and uh, tumesikiza kutoka kwa wazee tumesikiza kutoka kwa wamama pande za central wengine wakasema hatutaki hiyo kitu hata ikienda iende tu wengine wakasema aende wengine wakasema asiende and maybe you've been asking yourself sometimes uh, back we saw youths on the street of Nairobi we see Gen Z the so called Gen Z in the streets of Nairobi and maybe you've been asking what are they saying about so today we have one guy here from uh, uh, this country of ours representing the youth and so we would want to hear from him to a history ya dani anaipata namna gani a uh, history ya impeachment anaipokea namna gani wengine wamekuwa wamesema ni kufa dereva kuva makanga tusikie yeye kama youth anasema namna gani so is vipi bro niko poa karibu sana kwa majina anaitwa James Mulamba mhm mtani ruzu nizungumze kwa kimombo kidogo sawa tu yeah <coughs> Um, we've been treated to a theater of the absurd. Mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, the National Assembly of this country. Mm -hmm. 
I know Casmuel has massaged their egos, mm -hmm. starting from whatever happened at Bomas, uh, praising the MPs for mm -hmm. this and that, mm -hmm. and um, claiming that we do not really have such a huge mm -hmm. problem with the MPs, mm -hmm. and that they should um, try their best to give us services and give us some jobs as youths. Mm -hmm. That is pure gibberish. Mm -hmm. We are not satisfied with the current National Assembly. Mm -hmm. That is why we visited them on June 25th, mm -hmm. and we will visit them again. I mean, that, that is a public ground, it is our office, mm -hmm. and we have every right to visit Parliament. Mm -hmm. Both the Senate and the National Assembly, mm -hmm. we are coming. Mm -hmm. Because what the, the, the kind of nonsense we are being treated by the National Assembly is something we've not seen for a long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, this Assembly mm -hmm. is on record fast-tracking the impeachment of the current Deputy President, Rigathi Gashagwa, mm -hmm. as if he is... Um, the biggest evil we have in this country, mm -hmm. as if he's the biggest priority we have in this country, as if he's the supplier of oxygen to Kenyans. Mm -hmm. While we have things they should have tackled that they did not tackle and they did not see as important. Let me refresh your mind to some of the things we should have tackled with this National Assembly. Mm -hmm. We have um, the issue of shift that was hastily deliberated in Parliament, and most of the MPs do not understand was what Shah and Shif was about. They cannot differentiate between Shah, Shif, uh, the primary health care, and the emergency and chronic illness fund. They cannot differentiate. And if your member of Parliament cannot, how about you as a common citizen who waits upon your MP and your MCS to inform you on what is happening in government? Mm -hmm. Gadoni Wamushomba is on record, mm -hmm. on national television, on citizen, if I'm to be precise, mm -hmm. saying that she does not understand Shah. Mm -hmm. If a member of Parliament who passed and voted for the Shah says mm -hmm. she does not understand Shah, mm -hmm. and she's speaking for others, this is not a personal attack on Wamushomba. Mm -hmm. She is speaking on behalf of so many MPs who do not understand Shah and passed it. Mm -hmm. And they, do not, they did not understand the new funding model and they passed it. Mm -hmm. And there is one other burning issue our MPs should be taking um, seriously that they should be tackling instead of tackling uh, this Gashagwa issue. Mm -hmm. One, there has been so many strikes in this country. Industrial action has been called for by, the, by Wasu by uh, lecturers, by nurses, by doctors, but that is not a matter of interest to the National Assembly. The JSS interns demonstrated on these streets for close to a month. Nothing was done. They were given a road deal. Wasu and, and, and the lecturers were given a, a road deal and they have threatened to go and strike again. Mm -hmm. Those are issues we should be addressing because we have students who are at home now because their lecturers do not want to teach. Mm -hmm. Their lecturers have boycotted. They are not teaching. So we have a semester that is untaught. And that, is, that has been normalized by this parliament. They think that is okay. Yes, I know we have the minister of, uh, we have the CS for Labour, Alfred Mutua, and he should sort that. But parliament has a share in that because it appropriates budgets. If they gave a good budget to the Ministry of Education. I am sure we would not be having these problems, but they would rather fund uh, they would rather fund other projects that are not important, but not fund health and education, the key, the key ministries in this country. Mm -hmm. There is this issue of Gashagwa that Parliament is pretending to be so busy about. In fact, that Parliament is full of busybodies. They have nothing important to show Kenyans because they are wasting too much time discussing the impeachment of Gashagwa. And today I had James Orengo, a man I respect so much, acting as a lawyer for the National Assembly, arguing in Senate that Gashagwa went against his oath of office, arguing that as part of the grounds to remove Gashagwa from office. Then I asked myself, James Orengo swore an oath of office. All the, the thieves that we have in Parliament, because they are thieves and Kenya is a thiefocracy. And thiefocracy is a word, by the way. All the 290 MPs we have in Kenya, almost all of them are thieves. They swore an oath of office, didn't they? Mm -hmm. We have 47 governors in this country. They swore an oath of office, did they not? Mm -hmm. We have their deputy governors. Mm -hmm. We have the office of the uh, Directorate of Public Prosecutions, mm -hmm. the DCI. Mm -hmm. They all swore oaths of office in this country, but they have not followed anything they said in that oath of office. The president swore an oath of office. That oath of office he has not upheld. How has he upheld that oath of office? By killing youths that went to picket 
and demonstrate because of bad governance. How is that upholding the oath of office? How is the president upholding an oath of office by superintending over the abduction and kidnapping of innocent Kenyans just because they were involved in protests that were anti-bad governance? How is the president respecting that oath of office? How are the MPs respecting their oath of office when they are stealing CDF? Because we know they are stealing CDF. Mm -hmm. An MP gets into parliament with, 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 with no investment in this country. Five years later, ten years later, they are the richest business people in this country. What kind of investment do our politicians do that we cannot do? That they cannot invest our resources mm -hmm. as Kenyans mm -hmm. to double on the money that we get. Mm -hmm. I mean, they should show us, this is why I invest my money. As Kenyans, mm -hmm. let us invest our government money in this so that we can reap more money. Mm -hmm. It does not make sense that poor politicians get into government offices and within a few years they are as rich as Bill Gates. It does not make sense. Mm -hmm. William Ruto was worth 100 million in 2015. Mm -hmm. Today he is probably worth more than 50 billion. Where has he gotten that money from? Which investment has he made that we as Kenyans are not uh, aware of? I mean, he should come out, come, come out clean in public so that we can, we can, we can, we can, um, we can copy him. I would want to emulate the president mm -hmm. if his investments are so shrewd mm -hmm. and he is such a good investor <laughs> that he rips billions and billions of money in such a short time. Mm -hmm. Kidure Kindiki saw an oath of office. Mm -hmm. Kidure Kindiki amassed millions of money in two years. It is on record. And almost all the CSs, did they respect their oath of office back then when they were amassing wealth through offices that we fund. It is our taxes that pay these people. Mm -hmm. It is our money they steal. And mm -hmm. that is why I'm so angry now. Because it is our money that is being misappropriate, misappropriated and stolen. And they are making it look like Gashagwa is the face of corruption, the face of tribalism, the face of evil, and is everything wrong with this government. Before Gashagwa started speaking about the shareholding, uh, mm, the shareholding conversation we have today. Mm -hmm. The shareholding conversation has been in this country before and quite elaborately put down in the Kenya Kwanzaa shareholding agreement because they have such a document. It was circulated in public, everybody mm -hmm. saw it, mm -hmm. Amazon King signed it, mm -hmm. Gashago himself signed it, mm -hmm. William Ruto signed it, mm -hmm. Wetangula signed it. What were they signing? They were signing an agreement to share government appointive positions, mm -hmm. an agreement to share resources and revenue, depending on how many votes you brought to this government. Mm -hmm. And it is open knowledge to the public. Mm -hmm. And if that existed, the, the Speaker of the National Assembly is as guilty as Gashagwa is. Mm -hmm. And Gashagwa has no, has, has, has no moral qualms with, with, with his stance on his harshness against Wetangula, because he knows he's right. He, he has no doubt is in, in his mind that he is truthful. Mm -hmm. He has no doubt in his mind that Amazon King is another shareholder. Mm -hmm. they, they just don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Wetangula doesn't talk about his shareholding part. Mm -hmm. Amazon King he doesn't talk about his shareholding part. But there are shareholders in this government. Mm -hmm. And they have, gotten their, they have gotten their benefit as having brought some number of votes to this country. So they should stop crucifying Gashagua. Just because he is a guy who is uh, so vocal on the shareholding stories doesn't mean that was his idea. It was an idea of so many people. The president in Included, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Speaker of Senate, uh, Musali Amudavadi. I mean, it is not a Gashagwa issue. On the issue of tribalism, I know they have fronted this as a card against Gashagwa. And I'm not here to sanitize Gashagwa. Mm -hmm. I am just stating the fact as it is. Mm -hmm. Gashagwa is not the only p politician who is tribal in this country. Mm -hmm. You listen to the likes of Silvana Sosoro, the likes of Oscar Sudi, mm -hmm. the likes of Rashi De Chesa, mm -hmm. the likes of Cleopas Malala. When, when they go to their backgrounds, the, where they come from, when they go to their constituencies, mm -hmm. listen to what they say when they go home. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to what they say. You will understand that Gashago is not the problem. All of them are the problem. How is it that now, because Gashago has pushed for a share of Mount Kenya, and because he pushes the Mount Kenya agenda, he's tribal. But when they were, they, they, they were, they were galvanizing support for the presidency in 2022, alongside ethnic lines, they were not tribal. Even today, when they address their people at home, they address them along, uh, along ethnic conversations. And that is not construed as tribalism when they do that. But when Gashago speaks about the Mount Kenya people and... Uh, trying to secure their interest is very tribal. That is absurd. That is, in fact, 
a, a play and a game that this government is playing with us. And this Gashagua issue is being tackled because Gashagua probably differed with most of them on tenders, on government investments, on developments th th that um, he thought were supposed to be appropriated to certain areas, probably to Mount Kenya because he was pushing for their share. I've already told you it's a shareholding government mm -hmm. and they cannot sanitize themselves from this. Mm -hmm. And probably Gashagwa differed with the president and most of the CSS and the guys who are close to the president, the likes of Farouk Kibet, the likes of Oscar Sudi, because of probably he felt they were blocking the door and his access to the president. And he also felt they were over pushing their agendas over him, who is the current deputy president. It is on record before that Nicholas Biwot, the then um, close ally of President Moy, was so close to Moy that he had to go through Biwot to get to the president. It is possible we have the same situation in this country that we have folks Gashago has to go through to get to the president. It is also possible there are MPs and CSS and state officers who feel they have a, a bigger command over the president than the deputy president. That whatever he says comes second to whatever they say. That his interest as deputy president, even the interest to his, uh, his office and liaison to, 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 to the president because the deputy president is a principal assistant and he needs to advise the president on several issues. It is possible that most of these people have been frustrating the deputy president because they feel probably he's too aggressive or he's a man who stands his, who stands his ground. Because Gashagwa has shown Kenyans that he's a man who stands his ground. He said he will not resign. Most Kenyans thought he was joking. Mm -hmm. If that assertive man goes against those that are close to the president, they have every interest to take him out. It is possible these are personal issues they are sorting with Gashagwa. And it does not concern Kenyans because they are luring us and, uh, and they, they are dissuading us from the issues that matter as a country, from the issues which we should be prosecuting as a country, from the issues we should be concent concentrating as a country. And we are warning them, all those MPs and all those CSs, now that in the, com in the comfort of government and the warmth of government think they are safe, they are not because we are coming for them. We are going to recall those MPs and we are going to push for a dissolution of that cabinet and we are even going to push for the impeachment of the president we have today because it is constitutional to impeach the president. We are going to push him to resign because he is not serving our interests. He is a shareholder in this government. He is a tribal guy. He is a corrupt guy. It has been proven beyond, beyond doubt. Even Joe told us how corrupt the DP is uh, when Ruto was the DP to, the, to Uru. And he is not willing to work with Ruto anywhere. I don't know what changed now. Joe is in government and sin, sitting in cabinet with the same thief he was against. You understand yeah. the hypocrisy we have in these politicians. Yeah. They know where the problem is. They do not want to deal with the problem. Yeah. They know what is a priority. They would never want to deal with, a, with what is a priority. They want, to, they, want us, they want to pull us to their politics and to their games. Today, as we speak, counties have not received their fair share. Counties have not received the, the allocation they are supposed to get because the Senate and the National Assembly cannot agree that the Senate proposes an increment of 20 billion shillings to the counties, mm -hmm. bringing it to 400 billion shillings. National Assembly is not, is not comfortable with dispersing 400 billion shillings to counties. But they are willing to disperse 1 billion shillings to projects they, that are not beneficial to this country. They are willing to give probably a 70 billion shillings to SHIF, which is not a priority because we had NHIF. And if they wanted to upgrade NHIF and revamp it to uh, suit probably the new insurance covers and the new additives that the government brought, they would have done that. Mm -hmm. They have money to give to SHIF. They have money to give to uh, ministries that do not help us at all, but they do not have 20 billion shillings to give to counties. And this back and forth between the National Assembly and the Senate has, has forestalled counties. Today, as we speak, so many employees in counties have gone for months without pay. How are they surviving? How are they paying rent? How are they paying school fees? How are they, uh, 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 how are they, um, how are they paying their bills? And how is the governor, um, how are the governors able to pay this county staff without funding from the national government? Just because there is a tussle a supremacy war between the National Assembly and the Senate. And it happens almost every year. This is not the first time that counties have found themselves in a cash crunch. It is not the first time because the National Assembly and the Senate cannot agree on anything. 
they are they are almost always competing on which house is the upper house mm -hmm. who has more authority who has more ego than the other on things that are not important but on matters impeachment they are willing to agree in fact look at how uh, how expeditiously the national assembly has dealt with the impeachment of gashagua in record time within two weeks they have been able to summarize conclude investigate prosecute gashagua even faster than escc dpp and the dcr in fact parliament should be our new dpp and our new dcr <laughs> they are so fast with these issues and the senate has quickly clicked the bait and taken over the impeachment process today they were discussing that impeachment in senate mm -hmm. but they cannot agree on matters of importance like disbursement of funds to county governments they cannot agree on a matter as important as that because they are the ones killing devolution they said gashagua is undermining devolution because gashagua went to a market in muthurwa mm -hmm. and said that this market traders were not consulted thoroughly mm -hmm. before the county government of Nairobi decided to relocate them from Muthurwa to Kangundo market. Mm -hmm. He was protecting the interest of those traders. Mm -hmm. Whether they are Kikuyu or Kisi mm -hmm. or uh, Luo or Kamba, they are in the same market. Mm -hmm. If he goes there and probably uh, most of the people from Mount Kenya identify with him mm -hmm. and decide to show him love and support as a man from their area. I am not pushing tribalism here, but I'm saying if people from Mount Kenya decide to show love to Gashagua at Muthurwa market, mm -hmm. I mean, what is wrong with that? If Raila goes to a market in, say, Kisumu, mm -hmm. or a market that is dominated by Luos, mm -hmm. I know Muthurwa has so many traders, but we know most of them are from Mount Kenya. That is a fact. Yes. Even though you would want to bash me for this, that is a fact. If Raila Odinga goes to a market that is dominated by our good people from the Nyanza region mm -hmm. and they decide to show him love mm -hmm. and he decides to, to address them in Zoluo. Mm -hmm. what, what, is, what is the problem there? Yes, it was not okay for Gashagwa to appear to pull the tribal card with the Muduro market relocation. But he was trying to protect their interests. Mm -hmm. How is he undermining devolution when he says the traders should have been consulted thoroughly before the county government of Nairobi decided to relocate them to Kangundo market? Because the traders themselves are not satisfied. They are not satisfied. They are saying whatever was discussed was not concluded it was not conclusive and they did not agree to be relocated to kangundo market probably they feel kangundo market is so far away kangundo market is in um, is in umoja if i'm not wrong mm. kangundo market is alongside kangundo road mm. it is not a stone throw away from the cbd it is far away from the cbd if the traders in Muthurwa market feel they will lose so much business relocating to a market that is so far away from town what is wrong with the deputy president siding with them and saying these traders deserve equity these traders deserve some fairness and it is unfair to remove traders from this market to a market that is so far away we have so many government we have so many government lands around uh, around nairobi mm -hmm. they would have been relocated to another area that is not so far away I do not want to dig deep on that issue, but Gashagua addressed that issue. And I'm, I have said I am not here to sanitize Gashagua. I am here to say the facts as they are. So Gashagua did not undermine devolution. In fact, your MPs, the same MPs, Kasmuel praised, are the ones that are undermining devolution. It is on record that year after year after year after year, the National Assembly and the Senate must always push each other back and forth, back and forth, till it's close to six months spent before they release money to county governments why do we have to be treated to this debacle almost all the time why this fracas why can they agree on issues that are of interest to kenyans if they cannot agree on things that are of interest to us as kenyans i think it is about time we decide to recall all these mps or find another way of removing all of them from office these two houses are not serving us these two houses are not serving our interests they are serving their own interests and they are probably being pocketed by the executive to push the agenda of the executive that is why they expedite matters of the executive that is why they are so so fastidious on matters that are pushed to us by the executive but on issues that are of importance to us as kenyans they don't care they are never in a hurry mm -hmm. yeah and uh, let me maybe ask uh, about uh, the adani issues so you see mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. on the daily nation mm -hmm. on the first page mm -hmm. This is not related to Adani, but mm -hmm. would want to bring this to attention before we tackle Adani. Mm -hmm. The DPP, Renson Ingonga, mm -hmm. I, I, 
I am not sure that is his name, but I hope that is his name. Mm. He's on record. He's trying to withdraw a 7.6 billion graft case against Devan. Mm -hmm. This is not the first time the DPP is withdrawing cases mm -hmm. against uh, guys who've been charged and companies that have been charged before. It is not the first time. Mm -hmm. it, it looks like a politically instigated move mm -hmm. by the executive or by the powers that be to sanitize some fellows. Mm -hmm. You saw the other day the case by John Waluke was was acquitted. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the case was concluded mm -hmm. um, at the Court of Appeal and he was acquitted. Mm -hmm. Despite incriminating evidence mm -hmm. without measure, mm -hmm. he was convicted by the High Court because there was substantial evidence to uh, jail him. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was fined, I, I think, a billion shillings and also he was, he was also sentenced to 67 years in prison. Mm -hmm. But he was acquitted by the Court of Appeal on what grounds? On what grounds? I mean, when you look at the shenanigans that happen in this country, you feel like you want to kill yourself. Mm -hmm. So the DPP has been withdrawing cases left, right and center. Mm -hmm probably at the behest of the executive because it does not make sense that these guys have been convicted there is enough evidence to put them behind bars but you want to withdraw their cases as who the dpp serves us he's a public officer why does it seem he is having some powers on the issue of the ppps this is not the first time as kenyans we are being treated to ppps on the daily nation page 15 there is a good, there is a good uh, columnist who tackled that in that whole issue. I don't remember his name. Mm -hmm. But I stand in awe. He has coherently and articulately gone and taken his time to write to us all the PPPs we've had as a country and the PPPs that are to come. Warning Kenyans to be vigilant on the, on the whole issue of PPPs. Mm -hmm. Because according to that columnist, there were PPPs for the Nairobi Mau Summit mm -hmm. during Uru's time mm -hmm. that did not take off. Mm -hmm. There was um, another PPP on the Nairobi Mombasa Road mm -hmm. that was supposed to be done by Brechel. Mm -hmm. There was another PPP. Those two PPPs were mm -hmm. frustrated because of political gatekeepers in the Uru regime mm -hmm. who felt their interests were not being served. Mm -hmm. Because there are people who look at PPPs as a way to make money. Mm -hmm. There is a clause in the Kenyan constitution that allows fellows to manipulate PPPs to their favor. Mm -hmm. So that they are supposed, because that clause says the Kenyan people should have a certain shareholding in any private company that is trying to invest in this country whether it is a domestic company or a foreign company the kenyan people should have a share in that and probably the government should have a share in that ppp and that is what has been manipulated by politicians over and over and over to get money to their pockets through ppps and the two PPPs for, Nai for Nairobi Mausamit Road and the Nairobi Mombasa Road did not take off because the gatekeepers in Uru's government did not agree. Let me show you, during Uru's government, mm -hmm. there was a plan to lease for 30 years mm -hmm. the Mombasa port, mm -hmm. Terminal 1, mm -hmm. for 30 years. Mm -hmm. It is the same thing Uru is uh, the same thing Ruto is proposing mm -hmm. through the Adani deal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I confuse Uru and Ruto because they are one and the same thing. Uh -huh. Uru was as was as bad as Ruto is. I will not sanitize him here. Mm -hmm. He was supposed um, I mean he was he had a plan mm -hmm. in his government mm -hmm. to lease the Mombasa port terminal 1 for 30 years. Go read for yourselves. Daily Nation, page 15. Mm -hmm. And if that deal went through, mm -hmm. this will not be the first time we would be discussing mm -hmm. infrastructures that are crucial and critical to this country, given over to PPPs. This will not be the first time. Mm -hmm. It is unfortunate uh, or fortunate that it is Ruto we are crucifying on the Adani D PPP deal. But he is not the first guy to propose that. He is actually copying his boss. He is actually copying his boss. And that columnist was thorough and to the point that this Adani deal probably has given the kickbacks to this government mm -hmm. as they wanted. Mm -hmm. It is possible they have also gotten the shareholding clause I, I alluded to before as they wanted. Mm -hmm. Because if they did not, they would not be, be pushing for, for the Adani company mm -hmm. to get a share in almost every part of government mm -hmm. by hook and crook. Mm -hmm. If they did not get their kickbacks, mm -hmm. if they did not get their shareholding agreement in the PPP, they would not be pushing for this. Mm -hmm. And that columnist is on point 
saying that this is not the first time, it is not the last time that PPPs will be proposed in this country mm -hmm. as an alternative to uh, public financing of projects. Mm -hmm. I understand PPPs uh, come in when government cannot fund almost all projects because government does not have all the money to fund all the projects. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is true. Mm -hmm. Government cannot have all the money. With the debts that we have, because we have so many debts, mm -hmm. we need PPPs. But can we have PPPs that are beyond that, that are beyond um, beyond uh, let me say that are beyond blame can we have PPPs that are reputable mm -hmm. can we have PPPs that cannot be cannot be blamed for anything mm -hmm. can we have PPPs that are o holding the best interest of Kenyans at heart mm -hmm. because we have them mm -hmm. the China Road and Bridge did the expressway mm -hmm. it was a good PPP mm -hmm. and the expressway is running nicely mm -hmm. we have we have private companies mm -hmm. and we have individuals in this country mm -hmm. who can mm -hmm. do that airport mm -hmm. and almost every other in, uh, infrastructure project that needs to be done in this country mm -hmm. with their own money. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Wanjigi proposed to do the airport. Mm -hmm. He has the, the 238 billion mm -hmm. or he knows how to raise the 238 billion. Mm -hmm. The government is not willing to give uh, Jimmy Wanjigi the airport mm -hmm. because probably Jimmy Wanjigi has not to talk to them nicely. Mm -hmm. We have the African Development Bank that funds projects. Mm -hmm. The ADB has money to fund us the 238 billion shillings that the airport needs. They do not want the proposal by the ADB bank. There is, um, we can also raise that money domestically mm -hmm. because it doesn't make sense that we cannot raise 238 billion shillings to upgrade our airport. We can raise that money in phases. Mm -hmm. It is not a must to upgrade the entire airport in record time mm -hmm. because Adani is actually going to upgrade this airport for close to 10 years. Mm -hmm. So what is stopping the government from doing the airport in phases? Mm -hmm. When I phase one, 2023 to 2024, because Ruto will go for another term. Mm -hmm. Ruto will get another term. Mm -hmm. they, they can do the phase two in 2025 to 2026. Mm -hmm. They can do the phase three, 2027 to 2028. Mm -hmm. why, why are we being pushed to give everything to Adani while the government can fund this in phases? Mm -hmm. Ama Ruto and Ona Ata Rudi 2027. <coughs> it is a leg legacy project. He wants, to, he wants to give Kenyans. Mm -hmm. That I understand. Mm -hmm. The same legacy Uru gave to Kenyans with... Um, the SGR project SGR. and the expressway. Mm -hmm. Ruto is looking for a legacy project. That we understand. Mm -hmm. But there are countries that do not have, that are not as shady as Adani, mm -hmm. not as corrupt as Adani, that we could get to fund the airport deal. Mm -hmm. We have Tata Sands and uh, Tata Sands Limited. Mm -hmm. We have um, was it GTR, and we have the African Development Bank, and we have companies in the, in this country that can pull resources to fund that Adani, even in phases. The Safaricom consortium consisting of Safaricom, Adi Lawanja, and um, this other company. I don't remember the other company. The wife to David D. Mwende Gatabaki, the company she owns, is able to pull 104 billion for the SHIF. Mm -hmm. We have, that, that tells us we have people and companies in this country that can pull together to get the 238 billion shillings. Mm -hmm. If they can get 104 billion shillings for SHIF, mm -hmm. we can get 238 billion shillings for the airport. We do not have to list this airport to Adani mm -hmm. for that year. Mm -hmm. It does not make sense and it is, it is a conduit to steal our, to steal our resources mm -hmm. because we will be paying for flights and we'll be paying for services at JKIA. Mm -hmm. Where will that money be going for, for that year? We have already complained enough how Kenya always, has always been making losses mm -hmm. year after year after year after year after year. Mm -hmm. What will change when, when Adani gets this airport? Mm -hmm. In fact, now that they have gotten Ketraco, electricity prices will soar up. It, it is in, on record that Gujarat prices of electricity have gone up. Mm -hmm. Why are we giving them our, our, our supply lines of electricity? Mm -hmm. Probably we will soon give them Kenjen and soon give them KPLC. There is no difference between Ketrako, Kenjen and KPLC. Uh -huh. They all collaborate together uh -huh. to give us electricity. Uh -huh. If we've given them Ketrako, uh -huh. I mean we'll give them KPLC because they will say we need to be the ones charging electricity uh -huh. because KPLC only comes in to charge you for electricity. Mm -hmm. They will say we need to charge you for electricity so that we can recoup the money that we invested in Ketraco. Mm -hmm. And they will also say we need to invest in Kenjen mm -hmm. so that we are the ones buying the, the machines to create uh, uh, electricity, whether hydroelectric or geothermal, so that we can create enough energy, enough electric energy, 
to supply the whole country. So they will take engine, they will take a Draco, and they will take a PLC. Where will we go as a country? Because our electricity is everything. Everything here is running on electricity. These microphones, mm. these phones, mm -hmm. these cameras, mm. uh, these buildings, these vehicles, almost everything in Kenya runs on electricity. So you give all that to a private investor. For what? For what? Wow. And possibly, uh -huh. before we are done with Ruto, he's going to give out m our port, Mombasa port, to another Adani. Because <laughs> Adanis are not, um, are not limited. We mm. have so many Adanis out there mm. that need to do business with government. Okay. Yeah. Wow, well, thank you. Thank you for that uh, uh, insight. And uh, I love it. As a youth, I support it 100% just because uh, as I had told you earlier that we've heard from men, we've heard from uh, women, but we've not heard from uh, the youth. Maybe if next time we find time, kindly put down on the comment section, uh, we put it down there. Uh, next time I'll also look for him and maybe we look for more and more. So if you have any question, kindly put it on the comment section just because we'll be doing this. From my side, I'm Jefferson from Morori TV and uh, we are here to keep you posted and updated on whatever is happening concerning the Gachagua's impeachment. So kindly, if it's your first time here, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. If it's your first time here, also hit that notification bell just because we are here to stay and to keep you posted and updated. Bado tunayendelea. Tuma, haupo kemzi go wako kwa urahisi tena zaidi kupitia Joe Parcels. Tuko kote mijini na hata vijijini. Tukuletea mzigo wako kupitia njia tofauti za uchukuzi kama boda boda, bicycle, pickups, lorry na hata watu binafsi kwa ofisi yako ulipo. Usichoke ukimpigia dereva na maswaliza umefika wapi? Kwa sababu ukiwa na Joe Parcels app, utamfuatilia kwa starehe zako hadi aufikishe mzigo wako. Kwa mazugumzo zaidi tupigie simu Kupitia 0710-60-5555 au 0726-325555. Pia kwa tovuti yetu www.joparcels.co.ke Katika mitandao ya kijamii kama Instagram, Facebook na TikTok ni Joe Parcels. Wewe pia ulie na boda boda, pickups, lori, au atabaiskeli jisajili katika Joe Parcels Vrata. Riders up. Wanze kupata hela. Joe Parcels, we deliver at your doorstep. Tutume, tutafikisha.